good. I was happy with the hunter free. It's like right off my best from Indy. Uh, turn her back. Kind of felt funky. I've been trying to play with my start because a uh, Chinese man destroyed me in the start off in India. I've just been thinking about it constantly. And it's just like working on that in the middle of the beat is kind of kind of hard just because it's like all I'm thinking about. And then I just think about while I'm swimming and it's, I need to kind of make that second nature these next few weeks. So. Santa Clara is going to really at the, right at the forefront of my mind. Yeah. So uh, aside from that, like, what are the big things you're focusing on going into trials? Uh, probably the actually the front half of my race. I think I'm really in a good spot with training aerobically, but my front half isn't really there. I want to be I want to be getting out much faster than what I have been. I've been trying to go out 55, which is back, and it just hasn't happened. I don't know why. But uh, hopefully, I get that speed in these next few weeks. And feel that pop. Did we talk to you and Mace about the Portland Wear sponsored here? Yeah, that's kind of more real. I think it happened after that. Okay, so can you tell us about the two new sponsorships? Yeah, I uh, recently uh, signed a contract with Portland Gear and Bliss Nut Butter. And those are just like two local Oregon brands and they're kind of new. Uh, new companies, so it's been it's been nice to kind of start my career and kind of in partnership with them, and they're just really, really awesome. That I have, and it's really nice to have this. So, can you talk specifically about how Portland Wear is supporting you? Yeah, um, just especially with the logo. Yeah, so that, the idea with Portland Gear is it's kind of like kind of like a NASCAR thing where you just have like logos all over and just like, uh, I think that's something super you can add to the flair is like having brands and marketing and it's, the cap space is so valuable. You can sell that to other companies, you can break out just like swimming in the sphere. I think that's really cool. Do you ever think that you would get an opportunity like that just to kind of to break out of a normal swimming yeah. pattern? I mean, I never thought I would be in the position to even like be a professional swimmer, let alone getting brands that are outside of the sport to want to work with me. And I think that's just like really important to me and kind of where I wanted to go. If I was going to do this, I wanted to do it just beyond swimming because Michael's done so, so much with the sport and now that he's gone, <laughs> um, I would like to contribute to that growth. And Sport outside and just swimming. What about outside the pool? Getting married. Can you tell us a little bit about that and uh, how that whole thing went down? I saw the the, the Instagram videos. Yeah. What was the score behind that? Yeah, I mean, I've been planning to get married for the last few months. I know that once I made the Olympic team, I would have kind of the job in place where I could afford to get married. <laughs> and I, I've, been, I've been dating her for three and a half years and I think if I waited any longer, it would get kind of awkward. So. Question and yeah, we've been planning a wedding. It's been really fun. Yeah, so, how much of that do you get uh, dragged into? Is that her? Um, I just, I mean, I just tell her like, I just want to get married. So I try to like say like, yeah, I'm just like really stoked to get married. And I kind of give like a yes or no on things, but she's kind of like, she's heading that. And no, I don't think that was cool. Probably going to take some more time. Yeah, I'm just getting a photographer and all that good stuff. So.